Greetings, signs, and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We would love to have you here with us on this healing journey. Thank you to all that have booked, donated, shared, viewed my content. I really do appreciate you. The emails, all of you, I really, really do appreciate you. And we're going to go ahead and get on into this reading, okay? This may or may not resonate with you. Parts may resonate, parts may not. Take this for you and leave the rest, okay? What is the energy surrounding this reading? Either show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so someone feels like they're missing out. Okay, so for some of you, you may discover something from the past. Something was overlooked, either by you or someone else. But I feel like someone is spying, right? Nothing new. We always get those that spy, all right? I heard talking loud, saying nothing. With Princess of Wands, somebody could be very much passionate at this time, okay? Some people may view you as magnetic. I get the sense this Princess of Wands kind of has like a goatee or something. This puts me in the mind of someone that has like an like androgynous energy, okay? So I do feel... Like, the, whatever that you may discover or someone else discovered about you or someone in their environment caused them to move forward or will be moving forward, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Either show me what it is I need to see. We see the, ma the magician. Now, that could be high vibe or low vibe. Some of you are getting your money, right? This is clarity for you. So, this is about a partnership with the Two of Cups, okay? So I, I'm hearing soulmate. So somebody's going to get some sort of clarity uh, regarding a soulmate. This could be a higher level soulmate for some of you or a lower level soulmate. Okay. I feel like somebody made the, made a bad choice. This choice could have been surrounding uh, money. Okay. Someone not wanting to leave something due to money with the Ten of Pentacles here. I do feel like somebody is in regret. They could also be going through some form of debt here. We have the emperor showing up. And the hermit, I feel like the emperor may have kept you waiting for a very long time, or this emperor was waiting for a very long time. Tell me more about this. Ooh, look at this. So, yeah, somebody's trying to form cords of attachment. Many of you have to clear your energy every day. If you're not, you should be. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like somebody's trying to keep something from coming out here. All right. So, yeah, this is surrounding a past life soulmate or someone that you may have grew up with around them, around you. But I also feel like you've known this person before or it will feel like you've known this person before. Tell me more about the Six of Cups energy. Yeah, this is something faded here. All right. So somebody wants to spark something with you. Okay, I would be I would pay attention because this person is very passionate or they feel passionate about you, but I feel like somebody's gonna come in and quickly leave right back out. Right? Yeah, there's gonna be a heartbreak. For some of you, you may be experiencing this now where someone comes in, love bombs you, you feel like a closeness there. However, this person doesn't stay. I feel like they have unfinished business and it could be a partnership that surrounds finances here. This person does not want to let go of the status quo, what they know. Okay, with the world card, this person could travel. They could be traveling trying to come see you. Yeah, look at this King of Wands. So we definitely have a King of Wands that's in their ego. This person wants to have sex, but... Um, I do feel like somebody feels entitled to your energy. Why is the two of cups here? Some of you, you're following your passion. You could be going back to school, but this is about you learning. All these books here, There's definitely somebody's going to learn something. You could be studying, all right? They could be studying, but the storyteller and the student, I feel like somebody may have told a story, or they could be some sort of narrator. They could be into film for some of you. Yeah, somebody manipulated with the prostitute, somebody feels like they're in a situation where they have to compromise themselves all the time. Why is the Six of Cups here? Some of you are on public platforms. Uh, again, I feel like you, you speak to a lot of people. A lot of people look up to you. Why is the Six of Cups here? Or this is a very, this gives me like White House energy. You know what I'm saying? Like the president. <laughs> like this is a royal couple here. Okay, that's... Somebody could be speaking at some sort of gathering, a concert, or an event here. But somebody's definitely, I'm hearing taking the mask off, 
All right. So I feel like this person is hiding the fact that they are crying for you. This person feels like they made a mistake here. Some of you, you could have a child uh, with this person, but I feel like there was a sense of a magnetic energy between you. Again, you could have been knowing this person since childhood. This person looks up to you. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that plays the victim. This is somebody that doesn't heal. They may go in and out between you, someone else, other people, right? However, they do have like a childlike innocent. They could even have a baby face for some of you, okay? So, yeah, some of you, somebody feels like they have to take the short end of the stick. Why is fate here? I heard something's going to sting. Something's going to sting. What is this? Hermit. Yeah, this person is not paying any attention to you at this time. Okay, they again, we've seen that martyr card. This person feels like they have to take care of someone else. There's a mask here. Okay, you could also be a public servant. You could be in the public eye. People look up to you. Look at this. Okay, so, yeah. So somebody may be telling uh, their story on a platform here you could have been orphaned as a child or you could deal with individuals that have like a lot of childhood trauma that glare right there yeah some of you could be writing a book about it shapeshifter so yeah what is this shapeshifter energy Some of you, you know, some of you adapt to your environment very well. Some of you are shapeshifters, but I don't feel like it's uh, in a negative sense here. You may have been a jack of many trades. You may have found yourself in different ventures or someone that you are dealing with is. Okay. Somebody could be going away to speak at some sort of event. I'm also hearing that as well. Some of you could have met someone. I feel like somebody may have a mask on, they were married, or had some sort of long, long-term long commitment. Something happened when somebody was traveling. Why is the two of cups here? Somebody told a lie. Yeah. Somebody, okay, so, there shall be evil spirits on earth, and evil spirits shall they be called. So, definitely, somebody is a liar. They're very deceitful. This spellbound energy has been coming up lately a lot spellbound wow okay so somebody could again somebody could feel a magnetic attraction somebody could also felt like you put a spell on them or told people you put a spell on them but this is definitely about vacation somebody's thinking of bright ideas you could have a platform uh this person looks at your platform and gets new ideas for some of you they could be watching readings trying to figure out how to maneuver a relationship Okay, some of you don't know this person watches readings. They could even have their own personal deck, right? With the people pleasing, this person may have abandonment issues. So they stay in a situation that is toxic, okay? A situation that is full of shit where people lie, okay? Yeah, fear is taking over this person with fear is having faith in the enemy. So they, they feel like they're going to be outcast or ridiculed about something that happened in their childhood, this is, yeah, but lessons of the heart. Somebody could have mother issues. Some um, Somebody's mother possibly was a, a horrible mother here, okay? And I'm hearing that they learned how to treat women through their mother. Why is the Six of Cups here? This is something that's very much uh, past life energy. We got the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups, okay? So, yeah, look. It fell in my lap. So here we have the Doug Wife card. So this person is down for whatever. They most definitely have an entity attachment because you see we we have the spellbound. Okay. And this is somebody that will leave when times get hard. I feel like this is maybe something, someone that they are dealing with here. This person could have gotten married to someone that had a mask on. It's somebody, this could be an absent mother. This person may not take good care of their children. I feel like this person feels somewhat embarrassed by this person. They could also be into drugs, okay? More Than Beautiful is here. So I feel like this person was only focusing on um, the outside. I'm hearing very shallow, very mundane. So for some of you, this person could have met this somebody at a club, a strip club for some of you, okay? Somebody's doing spell work here, possibly like seduction, the art of seduction. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody could have read that book or some sort of book. 
that involves tantric okay so yeah for some of you this person may like watch people that teach that they could be yeah i don't get the energy of somebody teaching this is somebody that's watching someone that is teaching someone how to do something why is the thug wife card here so this is a soulmate from their past somebody that they felt uh, spellbound to somebody with a reckless ass mouth. Okay, they lie, they cast spells, they will betray you. Like you said, like I said, they leave when times get hard. So something got around about this toxic relationship. Okay, where they hid themselves, a lot of mass was on. This person could be involved with somebody in their twenties and their thirties. This person, um, they both have a trauma bond. They both uh, grew up um, where. They were allowed to do whatever they wanted to. So there was a lot of obstacles in between this relationship, whoever this is. This is a this is a past life uh, connection that has a lot of karma. Okay, you may have found yourself in a third party. Some of you, this could pop up and this could have came up in a reading. If you are a tarot reader, why is hero or heroine here? Yeah. Okay. So what is this? Somebody has real severe issues from the past. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of obstacles in between you and this person. If you have a child with this person, or if you are this person, you attract a lot of people that, that mirror you. So somebody's going to gain some insight about their child's mother. They wanted to please this person. I feel like, uh, they played the martyr. They feel like they have to take care of this child's mother or they use their children as an excuse. Why is shape shifting here? You definitely walked away from this person. Okay. Some of you knew this person was childish. This person may have held back the fact that they got married or had another child here. That child's mother or child's father could watch tarot. Watch the Wheel of Fortune here. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, somebody definitely uh, married, yeah, look, they married uh, a toxic soulmate, okay? I guess this person has traditional values. They feel like they have children with this person, or they may have had a child with somebody that was a lot younger. I'm hearing trauma bond, okay? Either them or their person keeps someone on the side, Okay, I'm also hearing multiple baby mothers or something. Why is servant, look, sicko. So, so somebody has a child's mother that is doing spell work on their current connection. And it could have possibly backfire. Now this person is watching. They could be excessively, obsessively watching tarot readings, obsessively watching you. They could also be slandering, talking really bad about you. Okay, yeah. Some of you, you have a child by this person, and they're saying that the child is not yours. Some of you, this person, uh, their child is a Satanist or a Luciferian. I'm just telling you right now. Or one in the making. Mm -hmm. Somebody's child could be watching social media and watching, like, how to do spell work and stuff, okay? So, with the Can You Relate in the physics card, we had a study of matter in its motion through space and time. Okay, so low energy force production. So when they're around this person, they get drained. This could be like a draining environment as well, where just it's nothing but toxicity. Somebody could be into lean drugs, alcohol, or whatever. They could drink a lot. This may be somebody that they blocked in the past, but I feel like they get high and they may call this person or, yeah, this is something toxic in nature. Okay, so with the shapeshifter here, they feel like you turn their back on them. Okay, you turn their back on them. They keep this side piece here, someone that they have nothing in common with, someone that's not spiritually uh, connected or spiritually awake. They don't mind being a third party, right? I think I did a reading where it talked about they don't mind sharing. I feel like this may have something to do with that, Okay. So this person is easily distracted. If one person is not available, they're going to go to someone else. So somebody is definitely going to gain insight about a toxic soulmate that lies. Why is the storm card here? Somebody needs to definitely watch their drink around somebody because I'm seeing somebody putting like liquid stuff in someone's drink. Why is the storm card here? Yeah. 
somebody may know that this person put stuff in it. It's like a, I don't know, like somebody knows that somebody put stuff in their drink. Cause I'm seeing them watch it. This is a toxic connection, right? It, I heard that the more toxic, the more better. Child, I cannot. Okay. So this person can't sleep because of what they're seeing. This could be something that they see in the physical. Well, of course, in the physical. Well, yeah. Yeah. So somebody couldn't see the fact that this person was toxic. Okay. So somebody got set up. They got caught. Uh, yeah. But definitely this person was confused. They're dealing with somebody that plays Russian roulette, either literally, literally or figuratively, meaning that they always put themselves in toxic situations. Okay. I feel like somebody got raided or they are getting raided. Okay, somebody's some something is happening where somebody's gonna definitely be exposed here. All right. Um Yeah, somebody just didn't learn from their past here. They do a lot of people pleasing. I feel like they hide them, their true identity with the storytelling and the bright ideas. This person doesn't know who they are. Okay. Again, somebody could be on the line on YouTube somewhere trying to figure out how to do sex magic, trying to do some bonding sp bonding spells or something, but it's backfiring here because everything in this person's surrounding is falling apart. Like it's, it's I'm literally seeing fire coming from sicko, sicko mode or psycho mode or whatever. Okay. So somebody who's very volatile, angry, explosive, this, this came out in yesterday's reading. What is, can we, can we get a little bit of gang insight? Why is gang insight here? Okay, so this could be somebody that was born in the 60s or 70s. Okay, it needs to be an older, younger relationship. Some, again, that's what I feel like. It used to be an older male dealing with a younger woman for some of you or vice versa. Okay, somebody could have took someone's virginity as well. Okay. With the, uh, you just got to ignite the light and let it shine just on the night, like the 4th of July, Katy Perry. So something could have happened that was very explosive. This could have happened at uh, 4th of July, again, or at some sort of party. Okay. Somebody could have hooked up with some distorted energy here. Yeah. Somebody doesn't. Somebody's figuring out that you are very much protected here. I feel like this person lied a lot about you, especially if you have children with this person. Some, yeah. I feel like they have a toxic child's mother, right? And this toxic child mother goes in and out of their life. They may have to take care of a child here. Tell me why this, yeah, somebody definitely lied. Somebody's doing candle magic or something like that. It's like, I'm hearing can't do no wrong. They feel like this person can't do no wrong or something. I don't know what they could, they got to be under a spell here. They got to be. Somebody definitely can't sleep by what they're seeing. They're getting caught. They're also fearful of getting caught. Somebody could be experiencing some sort of heart issue also. You may be feeling that, especially if someone had a heart attack or some sort of stroke here. Okay, this person could, yeah, somebody definitely been calling on entities. I'm hearing nature spirits. You're dealing with somebody that's very vicious and spiteful. This person has a personality disorder. Okay, they can also have, I heard somebody has a thing against men, possibly because they've been touched. Okay, this could be male or female. This person does spell work out of spite. Let's see. Let's get this. to show me what it is I need to see. <clears throat> we this came out yesterday. The hermit card. What? what? Okay, so this was like this. Okay, so may, you may want to check out that reading from yesterday. This person wants you to hold a space, but they broke your trust, and you don't want nothing to do with them. Okay, this could also be how they are feeling in their current relationship. Look, embrace the energy of peace. Somebody is just chaotic because they all into the spell work. Somebody's dealing with definitely a liar. They definitely get. I heard Riker, Riker, Riker's Island. That was random. Is that place even open? Okay. 
at the bottom of the deck we have guardian angel you are not alone and i'm being told to leave it there i'll tell you later